yep. if you don't mind me asking, I don't know if there's something you can share now, but like, how are some of those strategic partnerships structured? Like this time I'm asking kind of a, a selfish question. Like if, if I want to do this in my agency, is that something where it's almost like a, a referral fee and then you kind of hand it off? Or is it more of like a, like a white labeling uh, type of model where like those partners kind of come under your agency? Uh, like, how do you develop those? You know, I asked them first. I asked the, them, you know, how do you envision this? Because I, I have, I, you know, everybody's different. And mm-hmm. so I don't want to say, I don't, I don't want to begin that conversation with the demand. I don't want right. to say, this is how we do it. And, and, and if you don't do it this way, then it's not going to work. Right. Um, what I try to do is go, how do you see this playing out? Right. Um, so I might say, hey, maybe it's a rep share. Hey, maybe we take care of everything and you just take care of the client. Hey, maybe it's not great label. Maybe I just refer you to them and they h- take care of it and we go from there. Hey, maybe I refer you to them and I don't get anything because mm-hmm. I just don't need it. I mean, it's just one of those things. Right. So not every it, everybody in every strategic partnership is different. Um, and there are certain things where I'm like. If it's a PR thing where I'm like, you're going to need, you would need to do TV commercials and newspaper ads and this, that, and everything else. I don't want to fucking do that stuff. So I just, I hand it off to one of my friends who has a PR agency and he does it very, very good at it. And he's got great, um, you know, TV news station uh, connections and things like that. And I'm like, use him and I don't get a dime and I don't want a dime. I just want him to be successful. And when he comes across somebody who's got terrible reviews, he'll refer him, those people back over to me. And so I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm acute to listening to what that person would want from me to make it comfortable for them to be a strategic partner. Right. So, cause it always is going to be different based on that person's needs. Yeah. That's super, uh, it's a super valuable insight right there. And, and I, I've never thought too deep into that, like strategic partnership world. Um, I'm curious if TikTok and just your overall like personal brand has amplified some of these opportunities. Um, just because on on my end, I see so many different opportunities coming my way. And I assume it's probably something similar on your side as well. I I can tell you that, uh, I'm one of those people that will tell you that TikTok was a life changer. Like Mm -hmm. it was a life changer. Now there's videos of me. I was on TikTok when it was musically. Oh, wow. Okay. So, but, but I didn't understand how to really use TikTok probably up until when I say use it, I mean, really use it where it made sense for me. And I started to see success that didn't really start to happen to, for me until much later. If you go back and look at my TikToks, I was posting TikToks probably before a lot of people were posting on TikTok, but I, I didn't treat it or give it the respect that it probably deserved back then just because I was seeing, um, some pretty good success on Instagram and, when I was seeing that success on Instagram, it was kind of like at the top of the pillar for me. And I was like, well, I'll just go over here and kind of mess around with it and see what happens. And it never really, it didn't, it, it didn't really go to the point of where it is now. Now it is such like, it's such a tight community. Like my people are like such a tight community that they're like cheerleaders, man. Like they, they, they're, it's life changing. Like I've made really good friends from this application. Like that never happened on Instagram. That really never really happened on Facebook. Maybe in the very beginning of Facebook, but didn't really ever happen on Instagram. There was kind of always like cold touches, like cold relationships, like never really anything good. But TikTok was life changing. And when COVID hit, man, like that was probably the, the the game changer from that standpoint for me. Like I was like, okay, now I really have time to like do this. Now I'm starting to see the attention starting to really show up there. Okay. I'm going to go all in on this thing. And that's what I did. And I just, I just kept going and going and going and not letting up and just going. And like, even if nobody was liking myself, I was like, just keep going, go, 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 like push. And I had lost weight years ago. Like I was like 218 pounds, like seven years ago. And I like lost all this weight and got really in shape and all this other stuff. And I just didn't back then. I remember it was the same mindset. I was like, I don't care. I'm not looking at anything. I'm like tunnel vision. Like I know what I want to look like. I'm going to do it. And I did it. It was the same thing with TikTok. I was like, I know what I want and I'm going to do it. I'm going to build a community. I'm going to do this stuff. I want to make it so I don't have to pay for leads. I want to make it so when these people are ready to buy from me, they will. And that's where we are. And it didn't really even ignite more until I started going live. That was the real, real, true game changer, the live. 